Good morning. Today is Monday, September 5th, 2023. Jump date for Tuesday to 6. All right, let's go. Well, no setups going in tomorrow. We had a lot of shorts in here. A lot of home builders, obviously. They are all triggered today, the ones that haven't recently. KBH moving a little bit in our favor. That certainly helped a little bit. Still not in black, though, but uh, any move in, the, in our favor is a good thing. By the way, no changes in LFMD because we're not banging out new closing highs just yet there but once we do or if we do i guess i should say we'll start bumping that up k and f obviously going against us we'll take a look at those in just one second a couple of shorts in here they all have a little support below oh on has a lot of support below it's a ways away i guess it'd be a good problem to have but i like to take things that have pretty much unlimited potential uh, when it comes to the markets or, or fairly unlimited uh potential this one's kind of all over the place caught my eye initially it does look like it's in trouble if you felt like you really had to short something let's take a look at the portfolio real quick and then we'll talk about the overall market obviously kind of an interesting day portfolio kbh selling off nicely for us in here not quite back and not quite back in black but it does look like it could be in a lot of trouble kind of a head and shoulders tops bow tie first thrust all those other good things it's got a ways to go before support so Hopefully, we'll bang out that IPT fairly soon. K and F, bit of a bummer, stalling out the prior highs in here. Obviously, on your stops, just in case. The ultimate goal will be to catch a longer-term trend, but that doesn't happen, so be it. We'll find another one. Uh, K, uh, LFMD, not a bad day there. Off its best level, so that's a bit of a bummer, but I'm not going to complain too much about a 9.5% gain or thereabouts. I should like to see take out this recent high in here and, of course, bang out some... New highs in the IPT in the process, but uh, one day at a time, you know the routine. I'm hoping, I know you should never use the word hope, but I'm hoping that'll be my dead money report for this week. Take a look at the P, stalling out a little bit in here. Not in the world, but it is a bit of a bummer because you've got this bit of a head and shoulders top in the works. Let's throw some bow ties and the 50 in there real quick, and you can see that's selling up fairly hard, still above the 50 and the rest of the bow ties, but obviously still looking toppy in here. So we'd like to see a rally sooner rather than later. While we're down here, let's take a look at bonds. Bonds imploded a bit today, down almost 1.5%. Looks like they want to come down here one more time, touch those old lows. I'd like to see them find support down there, obviously. Hate to see rates skyrocket too much. NASDAQ kind of hung in there. It is still above the 50, and the bow tie moving averages so that's kind of hanging in here but you know me i sure like to see some new highs sooner rather than later let's take a look at the rusty rusty getting spanked in here so this is obviously a bit of a bummer and it's well below the 50 once again it's all over the place so as you can see so that's not get too excited there but it certainly is a bummer that it's not rallying now, when the good news department or in the good news department energies did manage to close at all-time highs off their best levels, but still, I'm not going to argue with all-time highs. Maybe we'll see some setups here on pullbacks. Drugs, not so much, though. Pulling back in or selling off fairly hard down below this recent little uh, one big breakout bar we had there. So that's a bit of a bummer on a net-net basis sideways last couple of weeks. Health services selling off fairly hard in here. It looks toppy longer term. Manufacturing, bit of a bummer. We just had all-time highs on Friday, and now, bam, we pretty much implode in here down 2% all the way back down to flirting with those moving averages. MNC got whacked pretty hard. It got thwarted at the 50. Looks like a top remains in place here. So you kind of see a theme developing, so far at least. Lots of tops in place. Obviously, one day or the, or another, or the other can make a big difference. Take a look at transports. We're getting a breakdown in here, so that's a bit of a bummer too. Break it down out of a bow tie. Also thwarted at all these prior peaks in here. So that looks like a major top. Let's take a look at the SIBI. SIBI's kind of hung in there. Let's, let's start kissing each other just yet. Yeah, still sideways at best as of late a few big updates would certainly make it look a lot better but obviously we still have to get past the prior peaks which would be close to the all-time high so not looking so great for now i think now's the time to sit on your hands we might have to take more and more shorts but again and as usual one day at a time everybody have a fantastic night we'll talk tomorrow thank you so much